Thank you, Nick Turner. Yeah! Yeah! We, uh, we're Gun Show, and uh, we're going to do some improv for you. So to get started, we just need a word as a suggestion. Promotion. Promotion. All right, thanks. So, Alan, we've been uh, incredibly happy with your work. Um, and instead of just giving you your Christmas bonus, we are also, starting in the new year, going to make you assistant vice president in charge of supplies. Yeah! <laughs> Holy, are you? Yeah! My God, it's like you read my Christmas list. It's like you're Santa Claus. <laughs> Sheila, are you okay in there? Uh... No, it's fine. I'm just, I'm getting promoted. Uh, yeah, Tom, I'm, I'm great. All right. Oh, oh I didn't know you had to push the button to talk to him. <laughs> well, that's because you're not a human resources. Yet? <laughs> well, generally, we don't go from the supply room to human resources, but you can dream. Look, Julie, I just want you to know. I'm coming after your job. <laughs> okay? It might not be next year, but I'm coming for you. Okay. Well, Can you feel my hot breath on your neck? <laughs> Can you feel it? Because I'm right behind you. Forgive me if I don't wet my pants in fear, okay? Because uh, it's also a bit Sheila. Anyway, um, Alan, <laughs> we are also going to give you a 10 cent an hour raise, which doesn't seem like much until the end of the year and you realize it's about $55. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, promotion trophy homage oh, box. Thank you so much, Julio. Thank you. You get to pick whatever you like from the box. One item. Anything, yeah. One, it's, uh, it's, we call it the promotion grab bag. Um, there's, there's I know what it's of, called. A couple of booby prizes in there, so be uh, careful. It's a golf trophy. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. I know where this is going. This is an upgrade from the last place we pissed. It's a nice view. It's hardware. It's nice. It's like platinum. Yeah? You can see the whole crowd and you can see everybody in the bar. Crazy. I've never been to a bathroom with cameras in the, or not cameras in the bathroom. <laughs> there better not be cameras in this bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom. You got my eye on it, right? Okay. When you, you are finished what? and you wash your head, you can dry yourself on my apron. <laughs> it's made of terry cloth. Bathroom troll or something. <laughs> no, I just have severe osteoporosis. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you came out of that hole in the wall. <laughs> it perfectly fits my size. I could fit in there and come out, and it's a good thing. Uh, I don't, uh, do we have to use you? If you want your hands dry. <laughs> There's no, uh, here, Don't you? All right. Who doesn't? Where? This is any portion of my terry cloth apron. This is weirdly firm. It's kind of wet, actually, up until. Yeah, don't use the wet part. People have already washed themselves. Well, they're all pretty wet. Exactly. Right? Well, this is the only dry spot. There you go. You gotta search for it sometimes. Is there a, 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 a tip jar or something? You I don't can have... just put it on me anywhere. It sticks to terry cloth. Here is a tip jar. Oh, oh. I got it. Can you bring you in the, the tip jar? <laughs> That's your decision. My, I, my tip jar is back here. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, <laughs> that's not my tip jar. No, it's the cup, not my <laughs> butt. What kind of bathroom do you think this is? Here, here. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, hey, do you want me to? What do you want me to? I leave the money in his butt. I don't care. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One Philippe, if you ever hone in on my tip action like that again, I will snap your neck. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> I'm not tipping you for oh, that. <laughs>
winner. I got the free Coke. I win. <laughs> Guys, yeah, we're coming in. Don't get close to the uh, helicopter. Yeah. Look, who's the guy who won the Coke? What? I, I thought it was. Coke. I thought we had he more won. wounded coming in. What's up? <laughs> I just I'm looking for the guy. Who that was me. It's him. I won. You won the Coke. Yeah, right. but I was there. <laughs> oh. Wait, no. Oh, look. <laughs> So I came to deliver it for you, and I can't. I could have well, gone to the fucking bodega. Oh, sorry then. I thought uh, I thought it'd be nice to bring the helicopter in and shoot the people around you, but no. Go to the bodega. We want to award you this medal for surviving the assault on your med team. Wait. You pin this on me? Is everyone around me going to die? I'll get that sometime, soldier. <laughs> It's a pretty cool metal. <laughs> Something good in the paper? Uh, yeah, yeah, war and famine. It's a great read. You should look in the personals. There might be something in there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying. Dear Long John Silver, I'm the girl from the subway. Wink, wink. Give me a call. Who could have put that in? <laughs> it is weird that I say wink, wink a lot, right? Oh. Yeah, it's one of your, one of your qualities. No, I know. One second. Don't move. Special delivery for Long John Silver. Oh! Oh gosh, what could this be? Why? Why is this happening right now? <laughs> You'll have to sign for this later. Okay. <laughs> You're lucky man. Wink wink. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I got the notes. Should I open this now? No, I, no, I'm Should stay. you leave? I don't know. No, I, 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 I want to stay. Oh, you should. Okay? Of course. Okay, well, you actually have to be close. Let's go. All right. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, ahoy! <laughs> yeah, huh? Where does this Long John Silver thing come from? Because well, I'm an accountant. In honor of our one month anniversary, I thought it would be really cute to uh, give you a nickname. And and this is the one that you decided on. Uh, because you make that noise in bed, you know, you, that thing that you do. Yeah. Wow. Okay, good. That's my nickname. It's based off of my orgasm noise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all I can think about. And I was like, oh my god, what would complete this? I'm looking at an eye patch. And <laughs> I can't wait till the guy from the pet store gets here. The <laughs> <laughs> pet store? Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, must be the guy from the pet store. Couldn't imagine who else it would be. Are you invited? Oh my god. Burn into your life. <laughs> This is mine. Don't you keep your eye on it. Uh, all right. Wait, what? I, this is my parrot! That's yours. Is that mine, then? <laughs> if he takes to you. <laughs> he will. Oh, do you left the window open? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Sorry, she's not very bright. She came up with this nickname because of the sound that I make when I have an orgasm. I kind of go like a R. Do you need to change your pants? No, it was just I was just demonstrating for him what it sounds like, which is why I'm wearing this hook. 
I, I just want to make sure that he doesn't think I'm making fun of him. I understand, brother. I too, if you can imagine. I can. Uh, <laughs> I can. I recognize you from the pirate forum. Guilty, I'm wink wink. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to put my full arm down one of these holes. That's right. And at the bottom of the hole, if you choose the wrong one, is madness. <laughs> if you are stung by the beast that lives within this tree stump. And if I don't go mad. Well, then everyone will call you a man. This is quite a trade-off. I have to pick a hole, though. I... Yes, if you don't pick a hole, then you get an involuntary sex change. <laughs> I told you how much I love your daughter. I'm willing to go through anything to take your hand. You're the first suitor that I have brought to the stump. All other suitors, when I tell them that they have to put their arm in a stump that could either kill them or become man to me, they tell me to fuck myself, and my daughter never sees them again, although I think that sometimes they email each other. So no one's ever put their hand in the stump? I put my hand in the stump in order to marry my wife. Oh, okay, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna make a choice, it's fine. It's all right. Which one did you pick? Not fair. <laughs> But, I mean, I mean, obviously, the holes ro rotate, right? They change, or is it I don't, same? it was, that was like 30 years ago. <laughs> I mean, know the stinging thing is alive. I mean, I can put my hole in, my, my hand in the hole. Uh, we're gonna debate Fine. whether there's a creature in there or not. Fucking <laughs> pick a hole, all right! <laughs> What's up? Let's get married. Let's you get this wedding going. I don't, you don't marry me, you marry my daughter. What's the matter with you? Oh, I thought you were part of the package. What the fuck did I stick my hand in a hole for? Are you bleeding out of your wrist? Yeah. I don't have to worry about it for very long. <laughs> <laughs> because that is a poison creature in there. Oh. oh I, nice I totally story. misread the rules. That if I stuck my hand in there and it bites me, then I'm all right. I'm a man. No, no, I said it's madness and death. <laughs> oh, so you uh, you got bit by the creature too? Yeah. God, that sucked. I right? know. Now I'm up here in heaven, not married. <laughs> well, we've got a pretty good group who uh, uh similar fate, that sort of Larry. thing. Larry. Yeah. Oh, Larry, that's weird. She likes guys named Larry. This girl must be really special because this tree stump thing is set up like 50 dudes this year. She's got a huge vagina. <laughs> That's a bonus on Earth these days? I don't understand. I'm into guys. it. Is this the tree stump room? Yeah, come on in. Great. Larry? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Oh my hey. god, hilarious. Hey. Um, hey, what's that? It's all right. I've had worse. <laughs> you ever been pinched hey, by, uh, by a crab? Get out of here. <laughs> How many times? What's wrong with you? Well, I just I keep You just the keep coming? Hole. No. Don't get born again. Buddhist, you don't get into heaven. Go somewhere else. Go get reborn. Fine. You're kind of being a dick. It's P.S. All right, you're at the back of the line. Hurry up. Move it up. Sweet upgrade. Where do I get? In. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Looks like I'm going on work. <laughs> Mother would have uh, really liked the ceremony today. She yeah. Would have, um, should have been pleased with what the minister said and everything. Yeah, it's always weird. Like people say the nicest things about you when you're dead. You know. Yeah. Seems like, like have you ever been to a funeral where you're like, they would not have liked that. They would have no. completely disagreed with the, you know, circus clowns. Or and it's weird whatever. because it seems like the best time to say the worst things about someone is when they're, when dead, they're dead. What are they gonna do? Can't hear you. <laughs> Can't get like, back let's, again. Be, let's just be honest. Your mother had a B.O. problem. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying it to be mean. It's just a fact. Let's it talk a, about it now. All right. She had a, you know, problem with, she used those natural deodorants because she liked 
organic stuff, and as we know... Well, and she was extremely hairy, which contributes to body odor. Yeah. Wow. She's so stingy. Did you know All right. okay. that she would make meatballs with Hamburger Helper? Like, she didn't put any meat in it. It was just like the spices, and, and, and then I don't know what else, but something to make it stick together. I guess an egg. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we can pull out of here for a second and just take it easy, you know? I, the B.O. thing was fun, but... I'm happy this cab is dead. Really? Yes. You... You knew Mrs. Thorkelson? I was one of her students. Oh. She beat me. Is that All what right. happened to your back? No, this is actually just a deformation. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's hard not to. I'm sort of on an honesty streak. Apologies. Well, I, uh, I'm all ears if you want to say something horrible about this bitch. Uh, let's not. Okay, we, we started with the B.O. thing, it was cool, but uh, now it's really starting to kind of sting me. Oh, B.O., did you already mention the B.O.? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about the B.O. And the stinginess. Did you, did you tell him about the time she shaved her body up from head to toe? I didn't know that. How did you, as one of her students, know well, that? She, well, for the nativity play, she needed a beard. <laughs> <laughs> and she used her own... <laughs> Shave oh, yes, with body hair yes. to make a beard? Oh, yes. Ugh, that is so I was an understudy. She got sick. I had to wear the beard. <laughs> <laughs> you have had the worst life ever. Hey, this is my mom that we're talking about. So, like, <laughs> you're, her, you're her offspring? <laughs> is it true the Queen of Stench is dead? <laughs> All right. She's not she the Queen is. of Stench, you know. I mean, she smelled a little bit. That's but, like, kind of that a compliment. Is, in the boiler the room, it's a the stench. I don't that think it's a compliment. Well, the name she made me call her. When she was. <laughs> all, all right, all right. I don't think. Now, Look, I, guys, I'm not the only you. one. Missing brother. No, no, no. Look, uh, all right. Let's let's just. <laughs> Spend some time here with my mother while she's laying in state. But I don't, wouldn't really call it state. That's <laughs> more state. For, that's more it, for like dignitary. Well, he just called her the queen of stench. So do you want to go from there? <laughs> okay. Is that, is, that, is that what the game that we're you're playing? you're embracing that, then I'm fine with it. But before you rejected it, so that's all I'm saying. If she truly was in state, we'd all be dead now from the noxious fumes. All right, this she's guy's not in here. Sense. I want him out. Huh? What? Did you? She's not in here. <laughs> that bitch faked her death so she could hear all the mean shit we were gonna Wait. say about her. Ooh. What's that sound? <laughs> the Scottish pistol. <laughs> 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 well, everything's in order. Um, congratulations. Thank you. You. Uh, Fourth promotion this month. That's yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'm coming after you next. <laughs> well, I, I am the chief um, executive. Officer, executive officer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I know what you are. Oh, hey, Sheila, or Julia, whatever you are. <laughs> Sheila. Sheila. Yeah, sure. I don't really care for names much anymore now that I'm up here. <laughs> Here's the promotion grab bag. Oh, I wonder what I'm gonna get this time. Hope you don't get a booby prize. Because of you, I lost my job to her. <laughs> you did not choose wisely. I guess that's the booby prize. Let's go, Juan Philippe. First thing I do when I take over your job is getting rid of that thing. That thing has been in our company for generations. I also put my hand in the grab trophy bag. And I went mad. <laughs> I was wondering why all the body hair taped to your face, but I wasn't going to ask until I took your job over. Some can't grow facial hair. You look very nice, by the way. Thank you. Yes. It's a sign of power in most countries. <laughs> and South, in this South African countries. Uh, Not necessarily this country, but there are countries. Tom, do you want me to send in the bonobos? Yeah. Uh, excuse me, this is still, <laughs> oh, still my phone. Sorry. I keep forgetting about that button. 
Yes, please. Go ahead, Chiba. They'll be picking all the parasites from my body. <laughs> Try one? Outstanding. No, uh... No, please, I insist. Uh, oh, I thought you meant uh, one of your parasites. Oh, that no, would be this good. is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is only one of the many things you'll get to enjoy when you are CEO. <laughs> I don't, I don't quite understand what it wants me to do. Feed it. <laughs> what? What do I feed it? Find something. Here. <laughs> Try this pencil. See what happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, I Eddie, you want to hear a story? Yeah? You want to hear a story? They love stories. All right. Why there, was, you go? there was once this house, okay? And it was filled with a bunch of women. And these women, uh, why is the other one looking at me like that? You're telling a story. She loves stories. Oh, okay. <laughs> and these women, you know what they like to do? They like to knit. They like to knit sweaters and quilts and anything that you can knit. And then one day, oh my god! Oh! <laughs> They'll wake up in a few minutes. <laughs> In the meantime, I'd like to have sex with them. <laughs> oh, God, thanks. <laughs>